Hello, Seth again. Today I'm going to show you a pretty new application around there. This is called uh, Video Evangelist. It is a successor, it is one of those successor apps which came out uh, after Visual Hub was discontinued. Um, so Video, uh, Video Evangelist tries to be a replacement for Visual Hub or to be a better Visual Hub. And today I'm going to show you what this little application can do. So for now we'll try start we try to start with uh youtube uh, video first i go to first you go to a, a youtube video you select your um http address copy it to the clipboard go to video evangelist and say add web video uh paste your url here click ok then video evangelist tries to fetch that video from uh, youtube you can adjust your video settings here with a slider, uh, save it to a dedicated folder. Uh, you can adjust your video with some um, with some uh, uh, options here. You can use H264 encoder. Uh, <coughs> you can use an H264 encoder. You can make two-pass encoding, which will uh, yeah, which will um, encode your video in two passes, like this little pop-up I already said. Um, if you want, you can adjust your settings even more, even deeper. If you go here, um, here are a few settings that I don't want to have, like override existing output files, or in the region I want to set it to PAL because I'm living in Europe and. NTSC like never the same color is not very good. Um, I leave all the options as they are. Uh, close this window and start it right now. Um, Video Evangelist now does its magic. It grabs the file, it converts it. This will take some time and I come back when it's done. So now Video Evangelist has finished and we can Watch this video with QuickTime. Let's bring it in. You see QuickTime. Uh, quick look. Sorry. I uh, can. I can show you uh, that these two files are the same. Uh, what Video Evangelist does, it downloads your YouTube video as well. So if you go here, you to your uh, YouTube video, and paste in the name and add .flv at the end. And if you have um installed let me show you uh Perian, you can watch flvs inside quicktime and when uh, when you see them side by side there aren't very much or aren't very big uh, quality differences in these two videos here um let's close quicktime i ch i show you another trick to, how to get your uh, QuickTime videos. First, the way I like to do it, you have Safari Stand installed and when uh, FLV is downloaded, you see that this download uh, bar here is filled up. You can command click on the video and copy your movie to the download folder. Or if you don't want to install an input manager, you can go to your activity inspector uh, to your site and normally there you, f yeah, there you find um, the biggest file here, which is downloading, you have to find the biggest file here, which is downloading. In my case, I don't have a very large file. It is only uh, eight seconds long, but, it, but I know that it's this guy here. You hold down the option key while double clicking it. The downloader will start and copy your FLV file to your downloads folder and there and then and then you have this FLV. Um, okay, let's move a little further now. What Video Evangelist also can do is let's say we want to have this video here on a DVD. So we can say we want to output a DVD, then we hit start, we get a new menu here. This asks if you want to create a burnable disk, if you want to, want to burn it right now, 
or if you or if, or if you want to fit this DVD on a DVD single layer or dual layer, uh, I input uh, bit mapping. Really, you really should go to this website. It's pretty cool. And you see that video evangelist is preparing again. And when it's finished, which I'm waiting for right now, now you can see that we have this pretty cool uh, ISO file, which we can burn uh, with almost every burn application. Um, the next cool thing about, let's switch back to IPO Classic. The next cool thing, which I can't show you right now, um, is you can use Video Evangelist to rip a whole DVD to your computer. And when it's problematic to copy your files from Finder directly to your hard disk, you can use Video Evangelist's ripping HTTP server, which uh, changes the way Finder sees this uh, your, uh, your DVD. And it's much easier to grab it then. The cool thing, the next cool thing is you can have some additional codecs which will install all these codecs like flag, um, some filters and much, much more. You can see here. Um, yeah, and this was it. You can see that Video Evangelist doesn't have to offer much when you just open the application and shut it, uh, shut it down again. But when you click on some buttons, you see that you can really go into detail. You can limit your duration. You can set a, a file, file size limit or some other uh, aspects of your output outputted file. You can it's just a volume you can convert to all your files or which I really use a lot is this FLV option which allows you to create an FLV file from your movies and put them on your website, your very own website with a FLV player running. So this was it for now. I hope you liked this pretty short introduction to Video Evangelist. You can grab it from the web for about 10 bucks and see you later. Bye bye.